What is up everybody, Angry World Cup Gaming here, we're back with another episode of the Real Zaragoza Career Mode series. First off, you guys didn't check out the last two episodes, go ahead and check them out, you're missing out throughout the series. We are already in episode 3, and in today's episode, we got a couple things to go through, and we're going to get through them today. So, as you guys can see, this is how my team is looking like, and I did receive a suggestion, maybe I should make Gonzalez into a striker. We could do that. I might do that for season number two. I am not 100% sure what I want to do with Gonzalez yet. But I do want to keep him at the right winger for now. See how much he grows. And it will make him, make him a striker or something. Because I don't see Na Naraves here in the squad a lot for a very long time. You feel me? That is one thing I want to really mention up. Also, last episode, my audio was caught up. Caught up? Caught, cut? Yeah. In the last episode. So... We did end up beating Huesca 1-0, uh, 3-0, actually. we I actually got to play that game. We beat them 3-0. And in this episode, we will be playing Ponferdina. I think I said it right for once. So, I also would like to look through... Not, this is not, no, no, it's not the jobs. I would like to look through international jobs. Now, you guys, we were making, like, you know, what jobs I want to do. And, and the one job that, you know, I think we all kind of agreed on is Wales. So... We will be accepting the Wales offer and try to maybe win the World Cup or something. It's not going to be a Wales rebuild, but Wales, it is the squad we're going to go with. And this is how the team's looking like. We have Aaron Ramsey. This squad isn't that bad, you know, for a team in Wales. I think it's not that bad. I mean, they got decent players. They got Davies. They got J James. Uh, yeah, they got a couple decent players. I don't, I don't think... Uh, it's gonna be really that bad i mean yeah i mean what i'm gonna be doing for like the next couple episodes we have a, a, well first off we have gareth bale i don't know why he's not playing at the at the right mid but for sure we have i want to do some stuff like maybe make some transfers from like teams like wales like maybe we could get that Rod rodon this rodon guy maybe get him a transfer into uh real zaragoza you know i want to make some transfers from teams, from te probably like we want to rebuild Wales at the same time. You feel me? But I still want to work on Spain. So like we could like work on Spanish players with you know, uh, Welsh players and stuff like that. Also, there is I do want to check out what the squad's looking like. Uh, they do have a decent amount of like players. Uh, they have David Brooks, and I don't think he is playing for them. And I don't know why he isn't. I mean, he should be. He's a right winger. We only have Daniel James and Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale is high overall, and Daniel Brooks, I don't believe. He plays for Bournemouth, if I'm not mistaken. 24 years old. Yeah, I do I do see some stuff like that. But also, so we, I decided, like, so for the next Young Academy Scout, we're going to look for a, uh, more for, you know, we, we were looking for defensive-minded, but we'll look for some technically gifted for the Wales players and and stuff like that. Maybe look for a goalkeeper next season for Wales. I, I think we got to do that for sure because so we could get that whale a player from Wales. So good. Anyways, to kick off today's episode, we're gonna be facing Ponferradina. I said it right for I think I'm 100 sure. This episode we'll be playing them and then we are going to go ahead and probably play. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to play these international friendlies. We're going to skip these 100% sure because I don't, I would not like to show you guys that. We're going to play Langanes and then I think we'll call it an episode and probably the next game I'll probably play. I, I don't know when. We'll, we'll figure that out by, by after that Langanes game. Anyways, guys, it is Zaragoza, Bonfern, Denina. Let's get to the game, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and make some adjustments before we start today's game. Uh, is there any players I do want to start? I do want to start Gonzalez. Like I said, I mean, Gonzalez could play striker. I actually see him playing a striker, so we might have to do that. We might have to make him a striker. So I think, what do you guys think? Should we make him a striker? I think I'm going to do that probably at the end of this episode because it shows plus five, and that is kind of a big W if you guys don't see that. It is a big W if it's plus five and stuff like that. We're going to give Nar Naraviz uh, a starting role. And I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Yes, we are going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put Clemente in the bench, I guess you could say. Uh, take him out for this guy. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this game. Uh, play this matchup and I'll see you guys at the game. And here you go, guys. We are going to go ahead and take on Bonford and Benina. Oh my God, I keep forgetting. I can't butcher the name. I always end up messing it up, but here we go. We, I mean, we've been doing good in La Liga Smart Bank or La Liga 2. Look at this squad. I mean, 
what we could what can I say? You know, we we have improvement still to go throughout. So let's get into this. It is time for uh, a matchup Zaragoza taking on Bumper and Dina. Can we get this W? Let's try to get this right here. No, wait a minute, no bro. No way Navarez is about to get a goal. Naravez, no way, bro. No way. There is no way they just let that happen. There is no way they just let that happen. There is no way they just let that happen. They just let that happen. There is no way that <laughs> they just let Real Zaragoza go ahead and steal the ball right there, take it, and ba bam, score the goal. And they, they even try to run for it. They literally, Navarez literally just outran them. He gets the goal for against Ponferra and Nina. Juan Jose Nav Navarez, you know, he's been doing good. Six goals in, in seven matches. Wow. Good. One nil, though. Gotta keep it up. Oh, good block from Shannon. All right, so we are in the second half, and like nothing much has been really happening. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put in Clemente, and I'm gonna put in Francis in this game. They they deserve some playing time. Um, I was gonna put Azon in there, but not gonna work out. Uh, I want to put Bermejo in there. I think he deserves to play. I don't know. I mean, he deserves. Uh, let's put him at the right mid. But mm. seems like if I put him at the right winger, he goes up by five. So we'll do that. We'll do that. All right, let's get into this game, though. Here's 1-0. Try to keep this lead up. What the hell? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I couldn't even see what was going on. Most... Okay, what just happened? I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. One month. Continue on with this. Navarez. Let's go! Navarez! Navarez! Naravez! Naravez! What a goal from Naravez! Things what do we like to see? 1-1. One, one. I mean, another 2-1 right here. That's what we like to see. But bam 2-1 result. What a goal. 2-1 result right there. Let's get it. Juan Jose Nav Naravez. Naravez? That is? Bada. 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 Oh, Bada could have made it three. And that right there, my friends, ends the game right here. Real Zaragoza ends up winning the game. 2-1, Naravarez ends up with the goal winning. I don't know. He's been, like, really outstanding for us. 2-1 result. Let's get it, guys. Let's go ahead and get to some simulating and uh, get through uh, the season. 
Up next, guys, Girona, Real Zaragoza, Quick Sim in this. I'm not making the subs. Quick Sim, 31 result. Let's get it. Next game, guys. All right, guys, we have a couple things to get through. First off, we have this game against CD Marin. I can I forgot what I said. Uh, Mirandes, we ended up winning 3-1. Good job. Also, there's another thing I want to look through before we continue some simulating. All right. So, um, okay, so we have Morientes, whose position is going to change to a still 54. He's still 54. Hmm. I thought he would actually go up by some. Apparently, he didn't. So, he might be a bust uh, or something like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out this. So, we have a couple more players who came in. and doesn't look like we have that much of a good players this time. Uh, Joaquin, nope, doesn't look good. Ivan, nope. Uh, yeah, this time it looks like it was a big L on the on the Yelp Academy right here. The only player that's probably having a good time or a good responsibility or like I don't know how to explain it is probably Nacho Moren Mo Maranco Marcano. I mean his potential is probably gonna go up a little bit. Uh I do see we could probably use him probably for next season, maybe for the left back position, maybe, but I might have to send him on one loan or something so we can get his overall or boost up, if you guys know what I mean. Yup squad monthly report. Let's get into this. And it does look like yeah, Morientes Morientes, it doesn't look like he's going to be good. Like it doesn't look like because he's only a 54. And, like, his stuff is, like, it's not looking good. I just try to go for, like, the lower weeks. And look at this. More Maran Macano, he's almost a 60 overall either way. Uh, we could literally make him, a, yeah, literally almost a 60 overall. He's still got time to grow. I do see some, you know, future with him or anything like that. We do have Burogos up next. We're going to go ahead and quick submit. I'm not going to make any substitutions. We're going to go ahead and see that. We end up with the result of a 2-1. Let's get to the next game. All right, up next, it is Real Sporting. I think that's what they're called, Real Sporting. Um, we're going to go ahead and quick submit. Quick submit this. We end up with the result of a 2-1 win. Let's get it. Next game, guys. Let's get to that. All right, guys. So, Real Zaragoza. We're taking on Las Palmas up next. And uh, we're going to... Do I want to make any substitutions at the moment? I don't see anyone I really want to put. Maybe not Aves. You know, he's been playing good. So I did start putting Gonzalez at the striker position. So we're going to see if we can do that. Um, maybe I'll do a new formation with some strikers. I don't know. We're, we're going to go ahead and quick submit. And we end up with the result of a 2-1 win. Let's get to the next game. All right, guys, look. Real Zaragoza. Apparently, Linganes have been on top for a couple of seasons. Oh, no, not a couple of seasons. A couple of months by now, all right? And they finally got to fourth. I didn't even notice they got fourth place until, like, literally as soon as I saw them. Um, also, I got a couple things to get through, and we want to, you know, get through these things. All right, first off, you guys know Federico Gonzalez. We made him into a striker. Ba-bam. He's a 67 now. He's almost... Almost a 68, and he's almost about to be plus 10 overall. It's like, bro, this man has grown. And so here's what we got to do. Jose, Juan, Juan Jose Naraves. Now, the thing is, I'm thinking of making him a left mid or something like that. Because if we make him a left mid or something, we could probably, he could probably, because like our left winger position, that's the thing. Uh, I think we have only, or left mid or left winger, whatever you want to say, is only with one player. And it is Vada. Vada has been playing that position throughout the whole season. And I think it's time to give Naraves. Like, we want to get the young players more of a shout. And that can get get us to keep Nar Naraves more. Like, you know, I want to use Naraves as well. So, how are we going to start this game? Now, I want to give Federico, uh, Federico Gonzalez his starting role into this game. We're going to give him that starting role. Give him that. Everyone here is literally almost a 70 overall. It's really crazy how this team has um really, really um have grown. And I'm surprised that Amador went up in overall. He's a 32, and usually when you're 32 in FIFA, that's where your overall starts uh, to go down, which is, um I don't know, I just find that crazy. And we haven't really used these people on the bench. I'm planning to sell this guy, Lasure, by uh, January so we can get some players in, or some young, maybe a new young, Yump Scout or something. We got CD Langanes though. Let's get into the game. It is Real Zaragoza taking on CD Langanes. And here we go, guys. We are going to go ahead. I, I don't know why we don't have the, the little thing, like the little jacket. I kind of want the jacket, but they don't give us the jacket, which 
does kind of piss me off a little bit. I mean, I don't know what to really tell you. It does piss me off. We don't have that little jacket. Uh, but Real Zaragoza is taking off CD Langanes, guys. And uh, let's get into this. You know, we want to get a W. We did get the W against Ponferradina, who were in third place for a while. And then, like, we got up to the first. So I do want to you know, win with uh, Linganes would really help. And Gonzalez, bro, bro, Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Federico Gonzalez. Oh my goodness, he has not gotten a goal, bro. He just got knocked out by the goalie. My man. Gonzalez. Gonzalez is literally outrunning everybody. His first goal. Federico Gonzalez! First goal against Leganes! What? Let's get it! First goal! And takes the lead for us! Real Zaragoza! Get the lead back up! Let's get it! I mean, everybody was outrunning. He was like, wow, he basically was outrunning everybody. First goal to kick off the season. <sighs> man, what a man. What a career, bro. What a, what a man. We're out there goes uh, Federico Gonzalez. 1 0. Federico. Oh, two goals already to kick it off. Two goals already to kick it off. Two goals already to kick it off. Federico Gonzalez gets two goals for his, his, like, his, his first time playing a striker. Federico Gonzalez has gotten two goals, not one, but two goals. And what what a matchup! He's already been playing great, and man, the man's got two goals for Real Zaragoza. This helps. This is gonna help us get promoted for sure. Two nil, CD Linganes, Real Zaragoza. Let's get it. Two nil. Can we keep this lead up? Can Federico get that hat trick? We need to get that hat trick by this episode. Let's try to get it though. Hat-trick, 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 Federico Gonzalez, hat-trick, Federico Gonzalez, hat-trick. What a, what a game for him. Three goals, three goals against CD Langanes. No wonder they have been declining recently. Langanes. Oh my god, he he is tall for a striker, and like I was, and I'm like to thank Slapify for the suggestion, putting him at that striker position. Federico Gonzalez, no way! Oh my goodness, four goals, and he ends the half with another goal. Four goals, Federico Gonzalez, four goals. Now this man is gonna be something right here. This man is going to be something. Scoring these goals, a tall striker, Federico Gonzalez. Oh my goodness. Federico gets the goal. And he makes it 4 0. He even, look, he even, he even touched his lip or something like that. But yes, that ends the half. And ending that half, I think we can go ahead and uh, possibly. We could go ahead and make some substitutions, but we're gonna end. We're gonna go ahead and just simulate because at this point we already won. We already won for for sure. We already won this game. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy in because he wants some playing time. Some of these players want playing time, you know. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, resume the matchup, and then so they could those guys could have those substitutions. Jump to result. We end up with the result of a four nil win. That's what I like. Gonzalez getting to have like four goals. Gonzalez was. Out, I, outperforming everyone right there. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to some simulating, and let's uh to end this episode today. All right, this guy. Um, uh, I don't know what that team's name. New team, taking on Real Zaragoza. We end up with the result one-one draw. All right, we're still in the top of the league though. 
let's get to the next game and this is the final scout report of this episode and uh it looks like only ibanez is the only one that i probably like out of all of them because the other ones did not look good so we're gonna go ahead and simulate a day and try to um start sending our next scout out and do that all right so we have sent our scout to to Spain, let's go ahead and send our next scout to Wales because that is what we want to do. If I could just find it, yeah, Wales. So we're three months. We did defensive minded already. I do want to look for a goalkeeper, but I want to look for technically gifted. So we're gonna look for some technically gifted Welsh players, and then maybe we'll look for a goalkeeper later on into this. Uh, maybe if the new scout, I want to make some transfers so I can bring in like uh, a couple of new players. Apparently, I didn't put that guy in the, long, um, in the transfer list, which is kind of weird. I put that one guy in the transfer list, but he's not there. I, I don't know what the heck happened, but he's not there. Now he's there. Okay. So, we're going to look through that Yump Academy player, and we I think we have a game in this episode. Uh, no, we're going to end the episode, basically, with the, uh, with the eye bar game, because eye bar are in fifth, which is kind of scary. We don't want them to get up there. But the guy we just put in, it, his name is Ibanez. 60 overall at the center mid. Oh, no, at the left back. Okay. Um, I mean, we could make him into a center back. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I feel like we should make him to a center back or something like that. I don't know. We really should. Because we need to get the, those rates up. I think a center back would work putting him at the center back position or something like that but because we have so many left backs and he might need to work as a center back or something like that i don't know either ways that's gonna be basically what this episode's gonna be about you know we're almost we're basically done with this episode i don't think we have the young scout young the young scout monthly report looks like ebon looks like it doesn't look like Ibanez is going to be good. Hmm. But it does look like these two are going to be good. And this guy's a 54. And that's the thing of this. I don't like him as a 54. I do want him to grow. So, like, if we does get promoted, I'm going to go ahead and send him on loan for a season. And see how he ends up doing with that season. Because we need to uh, get those overalls up. And... Yeah, I mean, basically, we need to get those overalls open. We Hey, look, we got Manager of the Month as well. That is honestly cool. So, in the next episode, we will be facing Ibar. Yep, Ibar. SD Ibar. Ibar. I don't know what, the, what that team's called. Uh, what team was it that... Okay, so, UD Almerea is down there. So, I don't want to face them in the next episode. We'll face Ibar, though. We'll go ahead and possibly face... Ponferradina again. If not, we'll go ahead and do this cup game because we do want to win. Um, not win, but want to, we want to go far. Maybe in La Liga, in the La Liga Cup, or is it Smart Bank? The no, La Liga. What is it? The Copa de España. We do want to get far into that. We are in round one, so this is round one. All right, and I'm pretty sure our team has improved throughout, and I I do want to see what is our goal for um the 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 cup because there should be a cup goal it's round the 16 i want to reach that at least as our goal so we can get our domestic success really good and our overall really high either way guys thank you guys for watching this episode of the real zero goes a career mode and i'll see you guys in the next episode like i said i bar is going to be the next game i think we might run it back with real valladolid and maybe a couple of these games because we're almost done with the first season we're literally episode three and we're almost done with the with basically the first season. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.